Hello, and welcome to the Future Channel. Friends on the Internet Have you ever wondered what goes on at the IT company's headquarters that fuels your regular online activities? We're going to give you a virtual tour of Google's enormous campus in Silicon Valley today, which is where the magic happens. The way we use the Internet has been changed by this firm, which can answer your wackiest questions and broadcast your favorite videos. Now grab a seat, and let's explore the headquarters of the most cutting-edge search engine and technology company in the world. When constructing the enormous Google complex, it was rumored that collaboration and creativity were at the top of the mood boards at Wilkinson's office. Both companies worked together to create an environment that was intended to increase worker pleasure as well as productivity. In a tribute to the company's most well-known asset, Gigantic whiteboards cover certain walls with creative ideas and, uh, not-so-creative anonymous jokes. This can be seen with amusing lava lamps and even huge screens showing real Google search terms from around the world that a staggering amount of glass was used in the construction of the Googleplex, increasing natural light, and offices are set up in workspaces of three to four people, which are said to be effective for sharing and developing ideas. Many of the lobbies also have pianos welcoming the next musician who dares to play yet are independent and small enough to cut down on workplace talk. Insider photographs show workstations decked with various Google and Android adornments, and from what we've seen, they appear to hold some real productivity. It seems that Google has properly matched the best of both worlds. Despite the fact that employees are there to work, the corporation wants them to feel more like friends and gives them access to a vast array of facilities, there is an on-site gym, which is nothing new to anyone, but the business also provides swim in place many ping-pong, pool, and foosball tables can be found on campus, along with areas where people can relax and play video games. Google even has its own self-contained pots that employees use to unwind. Swimming pools are designed to minimize the footprint needed by allowing swimmers to swim against an artificially generated current dot or to remove themselves from their environment in order to focus on some difficult activities. What about outside, considering that the weather in California is reputed to be among the best in the world? Google has tennis courts, soccer fields, and other outdoor recreation areas covered. All of the staff's frisbee games are completely free to use, and they are all connected by a private footpath network. On-site medical care is also available. A massage service that is sponsored by the firm offers medical personnel and elegance. A dry cleaner, a laundromat, and a hair salon the list is endless, in fact, there are rumors that team members bring their laundry in over the weekend in order to avoid using their own machines. The use of Google-colored bikes for transportation between these amenities is its finest feature. According to reports, many employees receive 20% of their working hours to concentrate on unrelated side projects. To their routine work. It pays money to encourage and inspire creativity. Self-sufficiency was important for the Googleplex, though not entirely achieved. Some of the building's energy needs are met by on-site solar panels that were thoughtfully installed across the building's roofs. Some of the fruit, vegetables, and herbs served in the company's cafeterias are even grown in one of the park's two gardens, which are accredited by an educational society whose goal is to teach people. Discuss the advantages of spending time outside for our mental health, and as you might think, tech giant Google is aware of these advantages. Mindfulness spaces have been deliberately positioned throughout the complex using areas like the vegetable gardens. Oh, and one more perk, please sit down because this isn't for the weak-willed. Google provides meals for its employees, much of it completely free. Employees can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner for free at the site's many cafes. Of late, restaurants have focused on serving fresh, organic, and healthy food. Buddha bowls and the smashed avocado on toast you see on Instagram are examples of the types of meals being dreamt up by head chefs that include a fusion of the world's foods. We imagine a wide variety of dietary requirements are taken into account when planning the menus. Charlie's Place, the main cafeteria, was named after Google's first lead chef, Charlie Ayers. But Google works with actual people. They're not all robots, and these actual people have hunger pangs in between meals, just like you and I. The solution is that every workplace is close to a large snack area that is filled with goodies like granola candies and hot and cold beverages. For many of the company's more seasoned employees, the novelty of regularly dining out may have worn off, but kitchenettes are always close by with necessary utilities like microwaves, dot fridges and kettles. We don't actually know how much the company spends on feeding the entire campus, but one blogger ran some calculations and came up with a figure of at least $72 million each year. 
When traveling to and from the expansive site, employees are likely to catch a Wi-Fi-enabled diesel-powered bus. The phrase, Google 15, refers to the 15 pounds of weight that new starters often gain with all this free food, any visitors to the site will be quick to notice the fun elements that Google injected here and there. An army of Android statues populate the main outdoor area, a Kit Kat and a gingerbread man to name just two, and of course the green Android character features. They will then find one of 2,000 parking spaces underground, or perhaps the staff want to plug their electric cars into the power points provided under a solar panel topped carport. Upper floor of Android structures. How much did it all cost? Let's not forget the astounding amount of money likely spent on food and other maintenance work, which makes this one of the most expensive headquarters in the world. This site alone cost the company about $1 billion, and that was in the same year as the $2.4 billion acquisition of the New York Chelsea market. What do you think of Google's integration of a work life balance? Would you work in such a place with its? Incredible benefits or do you value time? Spent away from work. One thing's for sure though if for. Nothing else this place is good for a. Visit. As an insight into what the future may. Thanks for watching this tour of Google's massive headquarters. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like it, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Future. By subscribing, you'll be notified whenever I release a new video, so you won't miss a thing. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.